Welcome to Cleveland Neurofeedback. We've made this little video to help you see exactly how to place the sensors on your client's head or on your own head if, uh, if you're doing a self hookup. So the first thing you need to know is we're going to start on the right side and on the right side there are three sensors and they have a black wire, a blue wire, and a yellow wire. Now the yellow wire with the flat sensor is clearly going to go on Ramon's head, on his scalp, but the other two, I think the easiest way to remember these is if you think that the black stands for the ground and the blue stands for the sky. So the black is always going to be lower than the blue. And then of course the yellow, which stands for the sun, will go on his scalp. So let's start with the black one. And we've asked Ramon to do this because, as you can see, he has the absolute perfect head for demonstrating this. So we start by putting a little bit of paste on each side of the black sensor and put that down low on his ear. Okay, so that's going to go right on the ear lobe. And then we're going to put paste on the blue ear clip in just the same way. Enough paste so that it thoroughly covers the sensor. Think of this as being like a peanut butter sandwich where you'd like to have the peanut butter going all the way to the edge of the, the bread and thick enough so it'll be kind of tasty. And again, not only does Ramon have the perfect head, he has lovely ears. They're kind of flat out here, so we don't have to worry about pinching uh, the cartilage in his ear. So that goes somewhere up near the top of his ear. The only thing that's important about the placement of that one is to make sure it doesn't touch the black wired sensor and to make sure that we put the one on the other side at just about exactly the same spot on that ear. Now, if you've been looking at any of the neurooptimal videos, you may have heard them talk about the perfect place on the scalp to place the scalp sensor. And those talk about how there's a little kind of bump here and then a dip up above that. Judith, do you think uh, people will be able to see that? This is quite obvious on Ramon's head. This is the dip and we're aiming to put the sensor right in that dip. Um, if you can't find that on somebody's head, if it's not pretty obvious as it is on Ramon's, or if it's hidden under a lot of hair, and we'll show you an example of that in a little while, then the place you're looking for is halfway between the top of the ear and the center of the head. So that would be right about here, and directly above the ear. Here would be too far forward, here would be too far back. Okay, and on this one, if anything, we put even a little bit more paste on. We've talked about this as an ice cream scoop, but we're not talking about the amount of ice cream you'd have in an ice cream scoop. We're talking about the shape of an ice cream scoop. So that goes right up here. And a couple of things I want you to notice about this. Let me take this off and start again so you can see. One is I'm holding the sensor not by the wire, but by the collar, which is either white or black, depending on which sensors you have. If you hold it by the wire, there's a big danger that the wire will snap. And these are very expensive. These are $100 to replace. So. Hang on to it by the collar, and then when you put on your ice cream scoop shape of paste, you then want to hold it so that you can press down with the fingernail. And I'll show you the reason in just a sec. So I'm actually going to do that with my thumbnail. And when you press down, you'll get this little donut of paste that oozes up around the edge of the center sensor. 
The reason you use your fingernail to push it down is if the, you push it down with your finger and that donut of paste has come up around the edge, when you lift your finger away, the sensor is going to get caught on, you know, the paste will get caught on your finger and pull away from his head. So a fingernail, or if you don't have a fingernail, sometimes people use a little tip of something, uh, a hair clip, which we have lots of here in the office, or a Q-tip, or something that lets you get a little pressure there. Then the last step in this is to take the corner of a tissue, so like this, we just tear the corner off, and press that down so that it catches in that donut of paste. That will hold this securely in place. Sometimes we have kids who come in during the summer, they've been running around, their heads are sweaty, and we put it on, if we don't anchor it, we come over a little while later and it started to slide down the side of their head. So anchoring it with uh, tissue is your protection against that. Okay, we're going to take a break and turn up on the other side of Ramon's head. Okay, so here we are on Ramon's left side. On the left side, there are only two sensors. The blue one, which is going to go at the top of the ear, opposite the, the blue one on his right ear, and the yellow scalp sensor. So again, we put some plenty of paste on here. And we want this to be in the same place it was on his other ear. So I didn't have it absolutely at the top, but I had it pretty far up. So that's going to go there. And um, if the um, ear clips are loose at all, then you want to squeeze them together. But if you have a new set of ear clips, they are quite um, tight already. With those, I wouldn't squeeze them together because your person is already cringing just a tiny bit about how tight a grip the sensor has on them. And again, on <clears throat> the scalp sensor, a goodly amount. And again, right in the little dip up here on his head, press it down with my fingernail and hold it in place with a little piece of tissue. Okay. Now, I think we're all set to go. At this point, we would put in his earbuds and be ready to start the session. After watching that first section of the video, you're probably feeling pretty competent. You're thinking, I could put those sensors right on Ramon's bald head with no problem. And then you realize you have to put the sensors on the head of my friend Sonia, who has the hair of a glorious Greek goddess. There's nothing simple about this. <clears throat> I'm not going to show you putting the sensors on the ears. That's the same as it is on Ramon's. But <clears throat> with the amount of hair that Sonia has, I'm going to make a part with one of these little hair clips right at the right place, halfway between the top of her ear and the top of her head. And I'm going to use that hair clip to clip the hair above the part out of the way. And because she has a lot of hair and it's pretty springy, I'm going to hold down the hair below the part as well. Now I'll put my little <clears throat> ice cream scoop shape amount of paste on this and I'm going to aim it right for that part and press it down and of course I would put the piece of tissue on top of it but as long as I have Sonia here in my chair I'm going to show you one other thing now and that is I'll show you how to remove the paste without leaving too much of it stuck in her hair so I always put the sensors on so that the wire comes down uh, from the bottom of the sensor. And to take it off, I grab 
the um, the sensor not by the wire but by the white or black sleeve between the wire and the sensor and I'm just going to rotate it up away from where the wire was coming down and then lift it gently away. If you've been putting these on before you'll recognize that that's a pretty good job of not leaving a lot of paste on there and then I can just with a Kleenex clean that up. Okay thanks for watching.